Insulin resistant people are at a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Most affected people don't even know they have insulin resistance. In fact, it often leads to prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, and other major health problems. In today's video, we're going to discuss what insulin resistance is and how I was able to determine my status and my risk level. Stay tuned. What up YouTube? It's your boy Ed, Everyday Muscle where it's every day because being fit and healthy isn't a fad, it's a lifestyle and masterpieces aren't built overnight. In today's video, we're gonna talk about insulin resistance, what it is, how it affects the body, and what you can do to find out to see if you're even re insulin resistant or if you're at risk. If you stay to the end of the video, I'll tell you what I personally did to find out if I was at risk and the outcome of that was. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you're up to date on any content that we drop. Before we talk about insulin resistance, let's take a step back and explain what insulin is for those who may not know. What is insulin? Insulin is a hormone that's created by the pancreas and it's released into the bloodstream. One of insulin's main function is to allow glucose to enter the cells to be used as energy. Insulin also maintains the amount of glucose that can be found in the bloodstream and keeps it within normal levels. So what is insulin resistance? Insulin resistance is when the cells in your muscles, your fat, and your liver don't respond well to insulin and they can't use the glucose that's in your blood for any energy. To make up for it, the pancreas will then produce more insulin. If the cells continue to resist, over time, the levels will go up, making the pancreas work that much harder. Eventually, your pancreas won't be able to keep up. And if you don't make changes in your diet and exercise, your blood sugar levels will continue to remain elevated and then you will end up with prediabetes. Insulin resistance syndrome includes a group of problems like obesity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and ultimately type 2 diabetes. And according to WebMD, it can affect as many as one in three Americans. What causes insulin resistance? Well, it isn't clear exactly what causes insulin resistance, but a family history of type two diabetes, being overweight, especially around the waist, and being inactive can all raise the risk. You don't have to be overweight to be insulin resistant, and you can't tell if someone is insulin resistant by looking at them. If you find this information useful, hit that like button and share the video with anyone you think that can benefit from this information because doing so, you may save someone's life. If you think you may be insulin resistant or you wanna make sure that you're not, you should probably consult your physician and they can help you out in one of three ways with a few tests. Once you consult your physician, they'll wanna ask you questions. They'll probably ask you about your family's history, their medical history, and if the type 2 diabetes runs in the family, things like that. They'll also want to do a physical exam where they'll take your blood pressure, your weight, and things of that nature. You'll also have to do blood tests. You might get a fasting glucose test. This measures the levels of sugar in your blood after you haven't eaten for approximately eight hours or more. Or they could do an oral glucose tolerance test. First, you'll do the fasting glucose test that I mentioned earlier. Then they'll give you a sugary solution. They'll wait two hours and then they'll take another blood test. The third option is a hemoglobin A1C test. This kind of test shows the average blood sugar level for the past two to three months of your, of your history. The doctors will use it to determine if you have prediabetes or actually have diabetes, and it's just under control. So what I personally did was I was working out. What I did notice uh, over the past couple weeks is that my midsection seemed to be growing while everywhere else seemed to have definition. I had an upcoming physical, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to check to see if I had somehow gotten myself into insulin resistance. So I went to the doctor, I had a physical, they weighed me, they took my blood pressure, and then we did the hemoglobin A1C test as well as the fasting glucose test. Came back in the, in the normal range, which was okay, thumbs up. But the A1C came back right at the beginning part of being pre-diabetic. It's not all bad news though, because insulin resistance is reversible primarily through a healthy diet and exercise. And what I'll do is I'll make a video on the steps that I'm taking to reverse my insulin resistance. So this is Ed for Everyday Muscle. Thank you for having this conversation with me and I'll see you again soon. Peace.